is the multiplication timetable I develop in Python graphical user interface so that's just how it works when you enter whatever value you enter there and this is what you get so what I'll do next is take you guys into the application and you see how I put together this program actually all right this is a graphical user interface for a multiplication timetable so I'm going to start by importing the system and now from uh, tk inner import import all and uh, the next thing is let me define the function the function is going to be known as a function timetable right that's my function timetable right there so I like the system to print out the following um, yeah I'm going to be using that for a new line then um, use a loop I'm using a loop there and the loop the range is going to be from 1 to 13 which means it will generate number 1 to 12 okay then the next thing I will do is uh, let me enter another variable I'll be using these to carry out uh, my calculation I'll say uh, let me say enter timetable the enter timetable that will be a variable okay so I might as well just sort of like copy this very one right here because it's going to be a variable so that's my variable right there as a string variable all right that's out of the way the next thing I'll do is let me just print out print it out on the interactive form um, I need a tab another tab that's good and uh, close that up comma X that is the variable right here I want that X comma then enter the multiplication sign right there another comma call the letter M which is my variable that you guys can see right here then the next thing is uh, and I comma there then I want the sign equals enter a comma then multiply this variable by this variable right there so all I just have to do is there is X multiply by M close that and close that that is my that's my function out of the way the next thing is uh, the name of my form which is multiplication timetable okay and uh, let me set the geometry for this multiply form the geometry will be that geometry so this is for my screen resolution right now so let me make that 200 times 200 and plus the position the position I want the frame to be in uh, 500 uh, 600 by 150 which means it's going to be somewhere here so that you guys can see it so the next thing let's get all of this let's indent it here good the next thing I will do is I need a label label 1 equals label and uh, get my multiplication or multiply comma text equals multiplication 
timetable that will be the name for my form okay let's set the font the font the font equals make that 30 and that's the the font color I'm gonna make that black done um, I now need to set my grid and row equals row one column let's say column six good so what I'll just do now is copy and paste this okay I'm gonna copy that copy now paste that right there and change the content in here to um, txt table that's for my table right there then uh, of course you guys we I have to enter a text enter a number into this text box and then just change this to text variable yes that's the spelling that's correct then the content in there would be this variable right here copy that variable and paste it right here paste let me get rid of this good so let me now justify it I would now justify it uh, justify make that center and the roll let's put that roll 3 some space in there column 6 that is fine now I then need a button let me just call that button 1 equals might as well just copy and paste copy all of that dump it right there paste I need a button here that's the type of object that I need okay good that's done the text value in there change that to um, timetable okay so what I would like this to do is uh, let me use a command command equals call this function timetable right there copy paste that function there okay change the rule to rule 5 then the next thing is let me add a button another button just to quit the system uh, just to exit the system equals use exactly the same thing copy all of this paste this right there and the text value need to be quit or exit and um, let's make the font font color equals red there so I'll just speed this up it's taking some time now let me speed it up alright guys this is how the program looks like right now so what I'll do now is run the program there's my program right there if I enter any number there let's say I enter 2 you see that guys let's say I change that to 3 maybe seven okay let's make that eight can you guys see that make that nine and that's how you develop multiplication timetable using the graphical user interface so I'm just going to call it a day now so if you want to have another look at the codes um, I will go to the code so that you can have another look at it and that's the code right there
I will also copy and paste this code into my share drive so that if you have any need for it you can always send me a request. So you all have a nice day now. Bye.